Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm back with Penny to give you the updates on the week. I hope you guys all had a really happy Easter, had a great four day weekend, and you took some time off to breathe, to hunt Easter eggs, whatever it was that you did over the weekend. I hope you had a really, really good time. I wanna tell you a little bit about what's going on for the next four weeks. So for the next four weeks, we are going to be working on our career research paper, which is the final project of your senior year in English 12. Um, all of your assignments are going to go back to that Friday due date. The reason that I did a Thursday test last week was because we had Easter break. So everything, all the checkpoints for the writing assignment will be due on Friday. If you go under classroom, under extended break, you'll see something, I believe I called it um, weeks five through eight career research paper overview or something like that. That lists all of the eight checkpoints for the research paper. You can see them all there. Then I broke them down week by week. So we're entering week five, okay? So for the end of week five, you have your first two checkpoints of your research paper. The first two checkpoints are to answer some questions about a career that you might want to go into. So that paper, um, is most of, the, most of this week's work is gonna be that paper because it's gonna ask you 20 questions about a chosen career. So pick a career that you either know that you for sure are going to go into or you know for sure that that's what you're going to choose. Or if you're uncertain and you're toying between a few different options, just pick one of them that you think is likely so that you can get a little bit more Get, get more of an idea about that, and that might help make your decision as you move forward. Um, with those questions on that sheet, there are, I think, 19 questions, maybe 20, right around there. It's not a lot of questions if you consider that that's pretty much all you have to do for the week, but the questions are gonna ask you how much you get paid in that career, what do the benefits look like, um, some things like that. So it's probably gonna require you to look some of those things up, which might take a little bit of time, so just plan for that. If you do your legwork now, and you really delve in and get a sense for this, it's gonna make it easier going forward. I also think it's gonna help you in the future if you can know what you're getting into. Um, my husband is a perfect example. He went into a field in college because he just his dad said go to college I don't care what you major in but you have to go to college and so he did and he picked something and he came out with a bachelor's degree and realized I can't do anything with this um, and so he went to more school and more school and more school um, so uh, that's how we ended up in Indiana in Colorado um, is following my husband in his school so it can definitely impact your life if you if you do the legwork now and know what you're getting into okay so that's checkpoint one is answering those questions about your career it's not part of the formal research paper, it's just jotting down your ideas. I definitely wanna make sure that I can read what you've written when you turn it in, so make sure it's clear and concise, but don't go to great lengths putting it into complete sentences, complete paragraphs, just get the information down, okay? As you answer these questions too, if you find a really, really good source of information from a .gov, um, .edu, something like that, then you need to keep that source because next week your checkpoint is gonna to be to find three sources about your career. So as you're going through this, just kind of keep track of those things, okay? So that's checkpoint one. Checkpoint two is just submitting a Google form with your topic proposal. And that's gonna be very simple. It's gonna take you less than 10 minutes to fill out, probably five minutes to fill out. What is your career? What are three areas that you want to research about your career and what's your goal? is pretty much what it asks you. So you need to fill that out and turn it back into me. Okay, so two things for this week. They are due on Friday by midnight. Um, if you want to work ahead through the process, go ahead and work ahead. Um, I have it all laid out. However, you can't work ahead past the rough draft. At the end of that week, one of the checkpoints is asking for me to you need to check my feedback. Okay, so you're going to come to a, a bit of a halt there. So go ahead and just chug away on it. If you get on a roll and you don't wanna stop, that's totally fine. You can turn that in whenever, okay? The very last thing I wanna say is that um, I do have it planned out through the first week in May. This is a four week long project, and so you will see a deadline that goes into when 
we might still be we might be back at school that's okay um we're still going to keep that deadline even if we do go back to school we'll just have some class time to work on it and go through some stuff together okay so please reach out to me if you have any questions going through again checkpoints one and two are due this friday you will find them on classroom under the extended break tab checkpoints one and two have them submitted by friday at midnight if you need to set up alerts go to the settings section on classroom you can set up mobile alerts you can set up email alerts that way you're being reminded as you go through um, if i'm the only one who has stuff on classroom or if it's a different deadline than you're used to or something like that go ahead and put that in now so that you're reminded and you don't forget okay i hope i get to see you all in a few weeks i'm not gonna lie i'm ready to be out of this house um penny is really wonderful but as you can see she follows me everywhere every time i sit down she needs me and so on so a little separation would be good all right take care bye take care bye take care you guys bye